In this video, we're going to see if we can begin painting. And uh, we're going to start here with this Apple image. And uh, basically, the first thing I want to do is create a new document. So I'm going to do a file, new. And I'm going to make it be uh, a US paper size. And I'm going to make it be widthwise 11 by 8.5. And the background contents, that's fine. They can be white. I'm going to call this Apple underpainting. Okay, so now the Apple underpainting, right, is going to be painting uh, the simplest uh, colored sections of the Apple. Um, the only thing is, we need to be able to see both uh, the photo of the Apple and our canvas that we're painting on at the same time. So to do this, what I'm going to do is change our viewing mode. I'm going to tell it to arrange them uh, side by side here, and then I'm going to shrink this one over and I'm also going to zoom it out some so that I don't have to see so much at once. There we go. Alright, so uh, now on my underpainting, I'm going to make a new layer and I'm going to call it underpainting and I'm going to make a new layer underneath that called drawing. Oops, drawing. Okay. So on the drawing layer we're going to start with um, a regular old brush and this regular old brush is going to be pretty tiny and what I want to do is try and create the outline of the apple. Now I'm not worried if this is not exactly right. Also, I'm going to make sure my brush settings are correct for this. I'm going to make my uh, brush be set to transfer pen pressure so it gets light like this. So if any of these other ones are checked, turn that off. Alright, and uh, let's just start drawing. I'm going to start by getting on the left side here. And if I screw up, it's not a big deal. Just trying to get a quick, rough sketch. And uh, up a little bit, a little curve, a little hump in the back. Let's see how we're doing. Maybe it needs to get a little wider. All right. And I'm definitely too big. Okay. Definitely too big. I don't need to be this big. Um, I'm going to also do a little line here representing this line over here on the left. Make that line go up, over, and down. Um, all right. And then we have a little shadow here that starts here. And kind of goes off like so. Now obviously like I said I made it way too big so I'm just gonna shrink everything down. I'm just gonna hit control T to transform it and I'm just gonna make it smaller. Very good. Okay so this is my quick little sketch. So start with a sketch sketching out your um, image. Um, then we're going to switch over to the underpainting where we need to create a almost like a, a flat quick color. We're also going to be using this to create our palette as well. So um, let's start with the palette. I'm going to uh, go to the uh, brush tool. So I'm still on the brush tool like I'm going to paint, but I'm just going to hold down the Alt key. Um, it's also the button that has the dot on your tablet. And basically, I'm going to sample the red color here and I'm going to paint it over here. I'm going to press really hard to make sure I get a rich one. I'm going to also get uh, this lighter color. It's like an orangish color. I'm going to paint it really hard. I'm going to get this darker red and the really dark red. And what the heck, some of this green. It almost looks limeish. Anyway, so I get these colors, and what we want to do is see if we can. Um, start kind of filling in our picture with this. Now, I'm going to make my hardness a lot higher. I'm going to have it in the 70s, right? So my brush is a little harder, and I'm going to make it a little larger. And I'm just going to start with this uh, one here, and I'm going to start painting. And I really want to paint solidly, so I'm going to press hard right now. And I'm just trying to create not just the outline, but fill in as well. I want to be able to notice that there's lighter colors down here, so I might switch and get some lighter colors down here. I don't, I'm not really caring how it's working right now, okay? 
and uh, this lighter color, right? And it goes back in here. Okay. And this underpainting is just going to help me set up the colors in my picture. Now you'll see that I sample a lot to um, make sure I uh, have the color I want and I'm just kind of making a base shape and like I said it doesn't have to look great at this point alright and we will fix all the little errors as we kind of paint through our project and paint through our problems here I'm kind of missing a color that's in between here I'm probably not even gonna worry about it just go ahead and paint it over and we'll get to that later and there's also like a light highlight over here not a big deal I'll just use this light orange for a moment alright so in painting uh, another painting will do what an outline does in a drawing it kinda tells you where to paint right and um, so the underpainting is set up to just be very simple now to make the underpainting have some subtle blend right and we do want some blending we're going to use um, the transparency of our brush. So remember, our transparency on our brush is here. Um, I think my um, spacing's a little off, so I'm going to go with my brush tip shave and make sure my spacing's down to about 10. Never go below 10. Um, and what I want to do is, let's say I want to make this light color blend into this reddish color. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this color in my palette, and then I'm going to just paint lightly and it should allow me to make it kind of blend away so your goal here is to blend away some of these things that we have these sections to make them not look all the same I'm going to sample this dark color and do the same make it kind of blend off blend off a little bit you see how you know it kind of has this um, overlapping or gradation type look to it and I sampled somewhat of a hybrid color there I think and uh, let's see get some more of this to lighten up this area that really needs to get even lighter so I'm just gonna let it get even lighter here okay don't worry about it making it too light okay um, and up here now notice I'm completely ignoring this white highlight uh, we're gonna do that on its own layer at a later time so we're definitely gonna not worry about that right now and just kinda make this come up and let's put some of this dark over here on the side and I'm just lightly painting and up here and let's make that go around now up here at the top um, we're gonna have to create a crisp edge here and we'll do that during our project uh, notice I'm not including the stem yet that's not a big deal I'm also not including the light highlight over here yet that's not a big deal at this point either alright you just wanna get a base you know it should look like a waxy type picture so that's what I'm working on alright so at this point I'm gonna go ahead and save my work and uh, start up with the next section, the first overpainting in the next video.